Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Now we got all these signs out here to try to show our people some, some of the visuals because we want our people to learn because a lot of this stuff, our people don't know. Now you say you're looking for religion. Why, uh, why, why per se are you looking for religion? God. You believe in God, you searching for him, right? You searching for the for, for the right path. Is that for the creator, right? So watch this. Well, where you see yourself on this side? Right here? On this side, this is what the Bible calls the twelve tribes, right? And so so right here, yep, this is what this is what the nation call us, American Black, West Indies, right? So you said you're American black, right? You born here in America? So this will be the tribe, you're from the tribe of Judah. You're born in America. Hey, say, say it in words, bro. We, our citizenship is American, but we ain't American. I'm from the tribe of Judah, you from the tribe of Judah. That's our people, right? Give, give me that numbers. Now watch this, listen to me, bro. Watch, watch what I'm about to read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first like day of the like second month. And they declared their pedigrees. They said they declared their pedigree. You know what a pedigree is? On what day? Uh, read it again. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Yeah. And they declared their pedigrees. What's going on, bro? I talked to you earlier, too, right? Oh, yeah, you over here. Come, come, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. The pedigree, the pedigree right? So what we going over, I'm trying to show, I'm trying to show the brother, because he asked, he said he's looking for religion. I'm going to show him that God don't talk about religion in his Bible, right? He talk about his law, statutes, and commandments. Who did he give them to? Who, who was God dealing with when you read the Old Testament? Yeah, I was Moses. Moses, right? What was Moses' nationality? Moses was the one called to be God. He was the one called to be God. Right, he was from the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, he was from the tribe of Levi. So when Moses came down, what did, what, what did he do? What did, what, when he came down with them tablets, what was he talking about? He was talking about his business, right? And Moses told him. Right, and he got that from God. That was a that was a commandment, right? Amen. So when so Moses being an Israelite, he brought the commandments back to his people, right? Yeah. So what we reading now? Watch this. Numbers one eighteen. I want you to look at this sign too. Where you see yourself on this sign? Now you said what's his name? Jerry. So Jerry, he from tribe of Judah, right? And I'm strong. Which one? I'm I'm strong. Where is that? I'm a Armstrong. A Armstrong. You see yourself on this sign over right here? See this right here? These are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's what this sign is showing, right? These are what the nations that we will live in. So wherever you see yourself right here, that's what tribe you come from. As I said, Jerry said he American black. So that means he's from the tribe of Judah. Black. Black, right. Citizen of America, but you a black man, right? So-called black man. Today you're about to find out you're from the tribe of Judah. Nah, hey, after today, right, so-called. That's, that's one of the white guys' names. That's the head tribe. That's the same tribe Christ came from. So check your bloodline came from the same black man that everybody in the world know about, the most famous black man in the world. Who yeah. Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ, most famous black man in, on this, in this world, right? Because everybody know about him. Now, you said, right. So now you say you're looking for religion, right? Give me Psalm 147. Because what we're gonna show in the Bible, the Bible don't talk about religion. You can't find Episcopalian, Baptist, Pentecost, uh, 1611 King James Version. King James Version, everybody got King James Version, right? That's the most accurate the, uh, the description of the English text, right? That got translated. Yes, I do. King James is a black man, you know that? King James is a black man. I know where you're going with that. But watch this, though. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob, right? his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yep. He have not dealt so with any nation. God said, I sold my law, statutes, and judgments to the nation of Israel. And I ain't dealt with no other nation, right? So now, how you find out about being an Israelite? Because this ain't about religion. You can't find any other denominations, any other religions, they're not in here. Right? John was baptizing people, but he didn't tell you to be a religion. 
Yeah, he did. Right. Yeah, John was baptized by the Israelites. He was baptized in folks, right? But he didn't say, make this into a religion. Right. No, he was doing something that was symbolic to, uh, from when Christ came on the scene. Right. When Christ came on the scene, he ain't dip nobody in water. Right. right. So the, what was he saying? Give me that John 15 and 3. Yeah. Give me that. Because that, cause I'm going to tell you what Christ said. When he came on the scene, he ain't dip nobody in no water. He looks like that for real. Watch, read that. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 3. Now, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Y'all hear that? Read that again. Watch this. Read. Now, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. When Jesus Christ came on the scene, he ain't teach no religion. He said, you clean through the words that I speak. Listen to what I say. I'm sent by the Father, and I'm going to do what he tells me to do. I, he said he can't do nothing by himself. Give me that. Five, John 5 and 30, right there. He said, he can't do nothing by himself. He doing what the Father told him to do. So the same thing that happened in the Old Testament with Moses and the other Israelites, when, they, when, they, when we read that he gave his laws, statutes, and commandments to the other to, to, to Israel, and he didn't deal with nobody else, that's the same thing Christ said. Right, watch this. I'm going to get in that in a second. Watch. I'm going to show you that to an Israelite. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 5, verse 30. Uh-huh. I can of my own self do nothing. Right. As I hear, I judge. Uh-huh. And my judgment is just. Right. Be because I seek not my own will. Jesus didn't come to do no religion. Right? He ain't do his own thing. Read. But the will of the Father, which has sent me. He did the will of his Father. So when Christ came, he was teaching God, he was teaching God's laws, statutes, and commandments to his people. Now watch this. You said you look at these pictures right here, right? Give me do around me one and one. Now let me show you why the significance of why we bring these pictures out here. So we want our people to learn. Now, right now, after today, you shouldn't be seeking no religion. You should be seeking God's laws. Because I do. Right. So God didn't say nothing about no religion. But this thing right here. Who did this happen to? Us. Us, right? Did it happen to anybody else? Us. Uh, Read that. What's that? Religion to me. Uh huh. Religion us. to me. Uh -huh. Real uh -huh. life. When it came over right. like the water. Right. I'm so, I, I, I feel you. Religion to me means realign yourself to God. Right. So the way of life. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Watch this. That's do it. Right there. Watch. Listen, listen, listen to me real quick. Y'all listening? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the context of what we read in Deuteronomy, this was spoken to the Israelites. No other nation, right? Jump over to 28. I'm going to show you why we got these signs out here to show you, uh, what, uh, show this to our people. Because y'all, you already said it. This happened to us, right? Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Yep. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon check it. He said, if, I, if the Israelites don't do God's law, statutes, and commandments, and listen to the, word, the words of God, right? He said he's going to put curses on them, right? It's a curse. A good or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing, right? So what you read from then on, from this scripture on, he's going to give you a list of curses. He's going to give you a list of curses. Now watch this. Give me uh, verse 30, uh, 46. Give me verse 46. Book, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So God said, so now, so now check it, y'all listening? God said that these curses is on us for a sign. So what's the purpose of a sign? I'm coming up with a sign. A sign is the message. A sign is the message. Right, it's an identifier. Yeah, it's a It's an identifier. You know that's Boost Mobile. All, all, all this stuff, bro. Right. All this stuff is going on in the streets right now. I lose. Right. Now, check it. You. So, right. So, when we read the curse and sign, right? You know that's Boost Mobile because it's a big sign on the top of the store. So, you can go over there and be like, oh, I got to go pay my bill. Damn, Boost Mobile right there. So, this is what he's saying about these curses. The curse is the same thing and identify. So, now, read verse 32. Verse 32. Yep. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So what do you see right here on this picture? They're giving them up. They're giving us up. Right. That's an auction. These are auction blocks. Yeah. These are selling our people. These are auction blocks, right? So our people, because that didn't happen to nobody else, right? So what's 
this identifier? Because what, what is this identifier? This identifier who the Israelites are. So them people right here that went through that, them is God's chosen people. No, not those. Yeah, the people that did that to us, yes. But the people that's getting sold, the people that's that uh, get our sons and our daughters to, that's us. God saying this is identifying who the real children of Israel in these last days are. That's us, right? So when you when you talk about religion, I know what you're trying to say about it, but we ain't talking about religion. We talking about the truth. The truth is that God that God said these things will happen to our people. So you know who it is in the last days. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth